Sweet Chemistry, a Marvel fanfiction written on AO3 by Mac0101. The link for this fanfiction will be in the description box below, so I encourage you all to go check it out. Uh, Mr. Stark? Hmm? Uh, I did the instructions you gave me, but, um, it's not working. Have you tried turning it on? Of course I have. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, that worked. Sorry. Tony breathed out a little laugh at the sheepish boy, and then looked at the time. Yeah, buddy, we've been working for six and a half hours. Wow, how time flies by. They were working on the armor, and somehow Tony ended up programming some sort of protocol into Friday, and the kid was testing it out with his web shooters. He stood up and stretched. We'd better take a walk before that brain of yours turns completely to mush. A pause. Or, you know, pepper kills me. He exceeded his maximum amount of coffee cups a day. Parentheses, he lost count after a six cup. So he really didn't need to provoke Pepper even more by living in the lab. Besides, Pepper told him to take more rest when Peter's with him. Because no matter how smart he is, he still needs rest from time to time. Which is true, and he can't argue with that. Because Peter is capable to stay longer doesn't mean that he should. Peter was about to argue, brackets as always, but then he looked back at the equation sitting on his table and stared at it for two seconds before deciding, Yeah, I think I'm going to faint if I look at this equation any longer. The older man chuckled lightly. Well, come on then, let's go get a snack. It sounds great. Peter ended up with some leftovers from yesterday's dinner, and Tony got himself some coffee. And some cookies. Cookies that Peter made, which were seriously amazing by the way. That kid was a seriously amazing baker. He'd wanted to ask Peter how he learned earlier, but it had completely slipped his mind in a comfortable atmosphere. It wouldn't hurt to ask, right? So he looked at the kid that just finished his plate, and took his cue to strike the conversation. So, those cookies, he started. I didn't know you could bake that good. Peter looked confused before the realisation hit. Oh, yeah, well, that's just something I like to do for fun. He started rubbing his hands together, something Tony noticed he does when he's nervous. Tony was about to say something, but Peter's eyes widened, as if he realised something. Oh, I probably should have asked permission before doing it, right? I'm really, really sorry. You guys were in a meeting, and I knew you guys can get some fancy pastries in a minute, but I was bored, and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, kid. Tony decided to put Peter out of his misery and cut him off. The kid had the power to ramble nonsense and somehow blame himself for literally nothing. Tony is sure that the kid would find a way to blame himself for the corruption of the ozone layer if you let him. Good. If I didn't want you near the kitchen, Friday wouldn't let you in. Peter smiled sheepishly, and Tony let out a fond sigh. Actually, I think they're great. I haven't tasted cookies like that in a long while. Because it's true. They are really great. Where did you learn that from? Peter smiled sadly and said, Well, I used to bake with my uncle. Oh god, Tony should have kept his mouth shut. Kid, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. The kid suddenly barked out a laugh. It's okay, Mrs. Dark. Really? It took a moment to get his breath. Actually, I stopped for a while after it happened, but I got back to it some time ago. Well, your uncle must have been a great cook. Yeah, he was, but wasn't so much good at baking, Peter said with a hint of amusement. That confused Tony a little bit. So the kid's uncle didn't teach him? Tony's confusion must have been visible, because Peter chuckled. I used to do whatever safe experiments there were, but when there was nothing to do, I used to get a little creative, the kid explained. Creative as in? Tony asked, amusement clear in his tone. Creative, as in take remote control pieces apart and then hide them across the apartment when I'm bored. Tony let out a surprised laugh. God. He couldn't imagine a tired Ben and May looking around the apartment for freaking remote parts. Well, that must have been something. Yeah, it was. He chuckled a little. I guess they wanted to keep me busy, so one day, Uncle Ben asked if I wanted to make a cake, and I agreed. It was kind of satisfying. Like, one minute you got, like, gooey stuff, and then you put it in the oven, and then bam, a cake! The kid made some hand-exploding gestures, which was incredibly amusing. Well, that's one way to put it, Tony responded with a chuckle. Exactly! But I wanted to know how it happens, and I read somewhere that baking's like chemistry, like how certain ingredients make certain flavours, and how much you put. Yeah, I was interested, but I stopped because... Peter trailed off dejectedly. Well, I'm glad I got a taste of stuff, because it's heavenly, Tony said with an attempt to lift the mood back up. Thankfully, it seemed to work, because Peter let out a small giggle. Well, it wasn't like that the first few attempts. I think the ingredients ended up either on me or the floor the first few times. Yeah, I can only imagine, Tony said with a smirk. The kid giggled, but then looked up in alarm. Tony was about to ask what's wrong before the kid said, I think he might want to hide. The older man was confused for a second, before looking around to the sound of heels and then, 
Tony Stark, I swear to God, if you don't quit it with the coffee. The kid let out a laugh, and Tony paled visibly. Yep, he was screwed.